We just thought it would be really cool in the coolest little town in America to have a brewery. We all had different business backgrounds and all had a kind of a passion and a love for craft beer. And so it kind of started on a napkin and this particular piece of property came up for sale. We thought it's perfect. It's right in downtown Grand Marais. It's got a great view of Lake Superior. It's right on Highway 61. And so when the building came up for sale, we're like, okay, either we're going to do this or we're going to quit talking about it. None of us were in craft beer to speak of. We were in tourism type businesses. So we had kind of understood business and, and the community and employees and customers and all of that, but we had never made beer before. So it was a huge learning curve and it was really fun. It was really fun to learn more about it because we've always done tours. We've always gone to breweries when we travel, which was just a part of our vacation. And so it was really neat to now take it to the next step and start buying the equipment and making decisions on what kind of styles of beer we wanted to have and what we wanted to be known for. Being in Minnesota and being Minnesota mild, we wanted really approachable beers. And then we shot for that. Our IPA is pretty bitter, but otherwise everything is pretty pretty approachable. You know, we're starting to do some other things, like our seasonal just came out was a hazy IPA, which is a real East Coast kind of fun, hip thing to do. It's been neat to be able to develop different beers and, and be part of the, the trend and part of the, the craft industry. We wanted it to be kind of small plates, or if you want to call it appetizers, where uh, it was a social thing where people could say, I'll order this, you order that, and everybody puts them on the table and tries different beers, and, and it would be kind of a fun social thing. And then we wanted things that paired well with beer. We also, being in the craft industry, we wanted it to be fresh ingredients and we wanted it to be handmade. All of our menu items are pretty much made from scratch. For instance, on our picnic board, our bread is baked daily. Our fish comes from Dockside from Lake Superior. So we're trying really hard to kind of have that local flavor and to have really good stuff. We actually had a gentleman from the cities uh, design the logo and when the four owners saw it, we saw four different things. So one person saw a canoe and one person saw a compass and one person saw a tent reflecting in the water and others kind of saw more of like a tree or a campfire reflecting in the water and we thought perfect it's four different things of four different people and that's really why people come to Cook County for you know, different reasons. I think what it's done is one is it's created a spot where locals and tourists can meet which I think is fun and I think it's really hard to do and two um, it's a really social thing we're closed at 9 or 10 at night people tend to come in for happy hour or they come in right before or right before they're going to go to their meal or the restaurant somewhere else and it's a gathering spot we have lots of meetings here where it's kind of that five o'clock meeting whether it's for the nonprofit or the local club or it's after a softball game so it's a gathering spot it's a fun spot and then literally we're putting money back into the economy. We want to get bigger than we are, but a big part of our um, being is being in Cook County and we want to support the local community. We want to be on tap in these places. We want people that come to Grand Marais to, to stop by and do that. But we want to be kind of a Minnesota brewery where if somebody's in Minneapolis or somebody's in Brainerd or somebody's in St. Cloud and they want to remember their great vacation, they can find us, whether that's a couple restaurants in every town having it on tap or going to at least one of the liquor stores and buying some, uh, some beer to bring home or bring out on their next adventures.